Hi guys, Mr. Pollock Biology here once again with a quick Unit 1 video about biochemistry and the biochemical tests that you need to know. So our objectives are to be able to describe how to carry out our biochemical test for the following. Starch, reducing sugars, non-reducing sugars, protein and lipids. Let's get stuck in straight away with the starch test. So the test for starch is nice and straightforward. It's the iodine test. And all you're going to do is take your sample, add a small amount of iodine, and look for a color change from orange to blue-black. Really straightforward. You'll have done this in your earlier um, school career. Nothing complicated there. So look for that color change to blue-black. Secondly, uh, we're going to look at how to test for reducing sugars, such as glucose. Um, for your, for your A-level spec, sorry, you don't need to know what is a reducing sugar and what is a non-reducing sugar, so just worry about carrying out the tests. So, for a reducing sugar, you're going to add Benedict's solution. You're going to heat it in a water bath, and then you're going to look for a colour change from blue to brick red. And the more, the more closer towards brick red it is, the more reducing sugar is there. So this can be what's called a semi-quantitative test. So you can compare the amounts, the amounts of sugar in different samples. So the closer to green and yellow you are, the less sugar you have. The closer to red, the more sugar you have. There's another class of sugars as well called non-reducing sugars. Um, and we can do a very similar test um, to identify whether a sample has a non-reducing sugar. We have to do the initial Benedict's test first and get a negative result. We can then repeat the Benedict's test after a couple of short steps. So after initial negative Benedict's test, we would heat the sample with dilute acid, we would neutralize with a dilute base, we would add Benedict's solution again and heat, and again it's going to be that color change from blue to brick red that will indicate the presence of a non-reducing sugar. The one, two, three, fourth test is the BIRET test for protein. This is nice and straightforward as well. Um, all you're going to do, take your sample, add your biorect solution, and look for a colour change from blue to lilac. The examiner will also accept mauve or purple as, uh, as answers here, but lilac is the one that I would go for. And finally, we have the emulsion test for lipids. Um, so if you've got a, a sample that you think contains lipids, fats, oils, you're going to add some ethanol, you're going to give it a mix, and then you're going to add some water. And you're looking really, well, you're looking for an emulsion, but uh, the examiner likes a milky white or a cloudy white precipitate. So here we have the negative result on the left, where it's formed two distinct layers. And on the right, uh, we have a positive result, where it's formed the emulsion or a milky white precipitate. And that's it. That's all you need to know. So to summarize, uh, iodine is used to test for starch. You're looking for a blue-black color. Benedict solution is used to test for sugars. You're looking for a brick-red color. Biorate solution is used to test for protein. You're looking for a lilac color. And ethanol and water are used to test for lipids. You're looking for a milky white color. I hope that's been helpful, guys. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe.